Hello, this is David. Welcome to part two, topic six, Gregory's chapter two, which is called Defining Counterparty Credit Risk. And the associated workbook has a file name of t6.gregory.2 definitions, t6 for topic two, Gregory's the author, dot two, because this is chapter two in this textbook. That's the edition for the assigned edition for 2013 FRM. I suspect in 2014 FRM, the newer edition will be used. That workbook contains several worksheets, including simple introduction to a netting example. We'll look at that in an upcoming slide, classic exam question. We also have then some spreadsheets from Source, uh, Source Gregory, a spreadsheet authored by Gregory, including I have tagged as highly relevant the E and EPE. That We'll look at that in an upcoming slide. The first learning outcome is a classic in the FRM. It's to explain how diff the difference between counterparty risk and lending risk. So with lending risk, and when we say lending risk, a good association is just to make a bond, uh, is to think about a bond or a loan. So uh, lending risk in terms of a bond or a loan, the principal at risk is usually easy to quantify. So what we mean here is that exposure, it's usually easy to uh, quantify the exposure, it's usually the balance outstanding. And then also it's unilateral in the sense that it's the bondholder taking the risk, but not the issuer as opposed to counterparty risk. And when we say counterparty risk, it's good to just make the association with a derivative, even if not technically necessarily a derivative we're talking about. Derivative is the best example of counterparty risk because it really highlights the two differences here. First, the uncertain value. So where as opposed to a loan or bond, the exposure is the balance outstanding. In the case of a derivatives, which is a contract between two parties, the value is harder to ascertain and the value can be positive or negative. Secondly, it's bilateral. So the derivative is a contract. It's a transaction between two counterparties and the bilateral uh, nature of it is another important difference.